Night after night, we've watched hundreds, even thousands of people fill this area of downtown Atlanta. We're now past curfew, so the streets are clear, but the National Guard remains. But I've spoken with dozens of protesters, Lester, who tell me this is not their first time pushing for police reform. They've done it before, some of them for years, and that, they say, is why they've had enough. These are the faces of America, black, brown, and white. Their voices raw and in pain. Nothing has changed. What are we supposed to do? Nothing has changed. That could be my father. That could be my brother. That could be me. And it's just happened too many times. I'm here because if white people don't speak up and stand in these lines, nothing will change. All demanding that this time be the last time they have to take a stand that America's police treat black people with humanity and dignity. We need to be able to walk around these same streets that everybody else can and not feel like, oh, if I get pulled over, I might not go home. Black Americans die at the hands of police at more than double the rate of white Americans. Campaign Zero, an advocacy group pushing for police reform, has tracked every instance of police violence since 2015. What tangible changes can be made to stop this? Today, in cities, mayors can change use of force policies. Today, mayors can say that they're going to require to exhaust all alternatives before using deadly force, that they're going to ban chokeholds and strangleholds. Campaign Zero says with 18,000 police departments across the country, there has to be a national standard around use of force. Keith Meadows has spent much of his life in law enforcement, on the street for more than 30 years, now chief in South Fulton, Georgia. Sir, you've been out, you've been talking to protesters. What have they been saying to you? They're frustrated um, because they're not seeing the change. We're seeing like the accountability, the, the Bureau of Justice reports only 7% of all reported cases of excessive use of force result in an officer being held accountable. There have been significant police reforms over the last 30 years, especially in big departments, more diversity, community outreach, and training, but... If you don't have the compassion for a person when you have their knee on their neck and they're begging you uh, that they can't breathe, I don't think any amount of training in the world would have changed who that police officer was. And Lester, Chief Meadows told me that to address that problem, they really have to take a closer look at who they're hiring in the first place in departments across America. He says that there should be stronger psych screenings when it comes to law enforcement recruitment to make sure that they're getting the right people on the force. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.